You don't see anything? Bitch, I can't see! Bitch, snap out of it! Bitch, I can't fucking see! Hey guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sally and welcome! So, in today's video, we'll be learning how to use powder foundation. Every time I always use like powder foundation as a contour thing, you know, a contour powder, not as a foundation. And I never knew how to use it as a foundation. I only use liquids and creams. So in today's video, we're going to watch a video by our favorite YouTuber, Ellie J. And she's going to teach us the tips and tricks on how to apply powder foundation. So get your makeup products, get your bottle of water, and let's do this. Let's look flawless together. So first we're gonna use primer. I'm just going to, hold on, let me take in my mirror closer to me. Come a little bit closer. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate that? <laughs> <laughs> After priming our face, we're going to color correct with this baby right here. It's the, um, the orange one, the orange bit right here to just color correct all those dark marks on my face. So I zoomed you guys in so we can also put it by my dark circles. My darkest part is like here. I'm gonna use this damp sponge, kind of damp right here, to blend out a little bit and take out like some of that product. So we're gonna now color correct those other dark marks with on. So we're just going to apply in those areas that we applied the orange concealer. So as you can see, I'm doing what I learned last in the last video on color correcting. We're taking the video that we learned before and adding it on to our makeup and adding it to this video. So I'm just going to let this sit on my face for a while until it gets, I don't know, they use the word tacky. I don't have no idea what that means. But apparently keeping that liquid concealer on your face for a longer period of time helps the blending process. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna wait until, I actually don't even know, I actually don't know how long I should wait. So I'm just gonna put on this fan and whew, let me actually just like fix my eyebrows in a way. Let me fix my eyebrows in the meantime. So I got this Candace brow fix um, from Edgar's um, and I'm just gonna use a spoolie to straighten up my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna just okay so i think my the what is it the concealer has sat on my face long enough so we're going to use this blending brush small one this is going to take a while two hours later so instead of applying cream on top of powder, it's ideal to apply the cream concealer first before applying the powder foundation. That way your concealer will be blended before applying powder and you won't have that harsh line between the concealer and the powder foundation. Okay, so we're going to use Miss LA Girl Pro, Pro Face, yes. I'm going to use this one as my powder foundation. This is in the color Warm Caramel. Use this um, app called, Fing not app, website called foundation where I you put in like the foundation you usually use 
and then it gives you like alternative foundations from other companies so i put the wet and wild one there the one i used in last week's video and then well not last week this monday's video and then it gave me this one they told me it told me that this one would be the best match for me so i'm gonna use the la girl again but in the color cool tan um as you can see this is fun this is cool tan okay from this lighting it doesn't look does it look okay from this okay here in this lighting here you can tell this one fawn is a little darker and then cool tan is lighter and she did say use a concealer that is two times lighter than your skin so we're going to use that one as our concealer Ugh, that looks <laughs> so ugly. Oh my god. Why did I do it like that? Mm. See, yeah, it looks nice and it looks, you know, but this side is looking. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We are going to learn how to put concealer in, in the future videos. <laughs> in the video, she used like a bigger sponge so i'm going to use this baby right here it's also damp as well and i'm going to use that to blend out the concealer So instead of using a sponge, you want to use a brush to buff in the foundation. So there are two types of brushes that you can use depending on the coverage that you're looking for. If you want a light coverage look, you want to opt for a fluffy brush. And if you want more of a full coverage look, then a dense brush would be ideal because it helps to pack on the pigment. Instead of just swiping it or packing it on your skin, you want to buff it in. So buffing it in is just applying it in circular motion all over your skin so the powder will mix with the oils and moisture on the surface of the skin so that it looks like it's melting on your skin instead of just sitting on top of your skin. So this. Okay, so she said a fluffy brush. And the only one I could find that was kind of clean was this one. I think this one will be fine. This baby right here. Okay, so instead, if you want to build up the product on your skin, start by picking up a very small amount of powder, dust off the excess, and lightly buff it onto your skin, and then pick up more product if you want to build up the coverage. So, okay, so she said... Tap it. And then buff it. Buff it on your skin. Oh, my dark mark showing. <laughs> Maybe I didn't use enough orange concealer. How does it look on the camera? It looks fine on the camera, but in person, I think this foundation is a little red on, on my skin. Let me go zoom in this in so maybe maybe you guys can see if it's doing something. So like that. And buff it into the skin. I still wanna watch what is it, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I heard it's such a good series. So um, saying buff just reminds me of that show. So. Okay, it looks like I didn't put anything on my skin, but through the camera, it looks like I didn't put anything, but I think this, this foundation is like more of a red undertone and I don't think I'm, I think I'm more gold and, and olive a little bit. I'm just going to set my face. I'm using the Yardley Absolute Translucent. I'm just going to set my concealer up. So I'm just, just a little bit. And just set my concealer. I'm gonna go back with the part of the powder foundation and just continue to buff that part. One is in these videos, we eventually gonna learn how to stop the creasing because I can see it has settled. I hate this when it comes to like when it comes to putting concealer on so 
you're gonna learn eventually how to stop this kind of creasing in in future videos oh glam girl i think you could still use the powder foundation um but it doesn't give that effect of ooh, i really just painted my face like i really look at this look look i put makeup on you know this looks like i for my minimalist mi minimal i did say it right the first time minimalist girls you know yeah i feel like that works for this for using um a powder foundation the setting spray i like using is the maybelline lasting fix so as you can see this is how the final look looks i mean i don't think i think powder foundation is not bad um I think maybe I need to learn how to color correct before, like color correct properly before I use powder foundation because um, my dark marks are still showing. Powder foundation is better for girls who don't like that heavy feel of liquid or cream foundation. I feel like this is perfect for you guys. For me, I'd rather buy like a tinted moisturizer or tinted foundation. Um, at least it doesn't look cakey because that was always my problem when I see other people use. Well, that's, it's not really my problem, but I was always scared to use powder foundation because every time I see somebody use it, it always looks, it made this gray color on their face and it looked, it didn't look right. I think I would use powder foundation when my dark marks have disappeared. Like when I fixed my issue with my dark marks and got my skin clear, then I'll start using powder foundation. But I like the technique. This really helps because imagine using sponges and just pack it in this buffing system okay guys so this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it uh, watch ali j's full tutorial video on powder foundations because it's really it's really good explanation on why why not to do this and why not to do that so she got a good explanation on it and Comment down below if you know any good powder foundations that I can use. Affordable, please, because a girl is broke. Insufficient funds. You ain't got no money. She used ALF, but ALF is not really an essay right now. If it is, maybe I should try ALF, but I don't think it's in South Africa yet. So, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.